This video is brought to you by Op TV NG. You will laugh and be entertained. God, I'm still waiting now. Answer me. Brother, I suppose you are here to give confession and seek forgiveness for your sins. Father, why I'm asking because I want to know the magnitude of the sin because I'm about to commit it to. See, is there anywhere it's stated in the Bible that a man cannot take more than one wife? Okay, let me answer this simply with the illustration. And God made them man and wife, not man and wives. But why do you ask exactly? Because Father, I want to take a second wife, oh, and if I'm not satisfied, I'll take another one and make it three. <laughs> Brother, Shwo, now what for you? You did plan to marry two or three wives. How soon you won't die? You won't kill yourself? You don't know how much they say bag of rice? What about house rent? School fee, uncle? Receive sales to not do any how? Shoo? Don't risk a Oh, not try ya. Brother, I think you require serious counseling. And uh, you have to be born again so that you will understand that God does not support polygamy. Father, that's a lie. Father, you have lied. Huh? Father, okay, let me ask you. What of the wisest man in the Bible, King Solomon, who had 700 wives, 300 concubines, altogether 1,000, and even here say each of them had four, four children each? Eh? Okay, let me ask you, Father. Let me ask you, Father. Are you wiser than King Solomon, Father? Are you wiser than King Solomon? <laughs> Where they worry you? No, where, where they worry you? You call you call insult me. I mean you call you call challenge me. No, why you call it? Why you compare me with Solo? Why you they compare me with Solo? Me and an mate. Me and Solo are mate. They do her like gallon. Take your time, man. I use a rob you. Brother. If you are truly born again and you study your Bible carefully, you will know that all things have passed away when you are truly born in Christ. Father, what of those men in the Bible that took more than one wife? Eh? Father, don't tire for my wife. Oh. Remember I talked to you about counseling. Marriage is not a bed of roses. There are times spouses do fall into the temptation of having these feelings. But as a true child of God, what you are supposed to do is pray and make the marriage work and sweet again. <laughs> oh, Father, it's what enough for begin to speak to you. Have you been married before? How do you know about making marriage work and sweet? Eh? I don't have to be married to understand how marriage works. But tell me, why do you really feel this way about your wife? Thank you, Father. Father, thank you. Father, you need to see my wife before I married her. Oh my God. Sweet girl, fine, fine anyhow. She won't use beauty key herself. Sexy, neat, tidy. Oh, but you need to see what my wife has done to since she started giving bets. Huh. <sighs> okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Thank you. Now she has given birth to kids. She no longer takes care of herself. She dresses anyhow. She, she ties wrapper for money tonight. Uh, they wear BB gun up and down like, like say she be native doctor. I see. But have you bought her new clothes since you noticed it and she refuses to wear them? Uh, um, father, no. But the dressing aside, you need to see my wife. She doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't look neat again. Her body now has stretch mark, head to toe, and she's not doing anything about it. Hmm. Stretch marks she must have gotten from bearing kids for you. But as her husband once again, have you tried to research anything to try to 
help in removing the stretch marks if it's possible? Uh, but father, I thought it's her duty to look for ways to keep looking good for me. Uh, 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 is it my duty? No! Not my duty. Since not me and you, I am Maria. Your smelly mouth. Brother, the best thing to do is not to complain since your wife hasn't done anything about her stretch marks or way of dressing. Okay, father. Stretch mark aside, you need to see my wife now. She's not, nothing like the woman I married years ago. Her tummy is so big and flabby. It's not sexy anymore. Uh -uh. I thought it's her duty to, to take care of herself, look good the way I want. Uh, 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 is it my duty? When was the last time you took her to a gym to work out, to make her look good again? Is that one my job too? You married her when she was looking beautiful, neat, and now, after so many years in your house, she has suddenly turned old and ugly. And do you think the best thing to do is to get another wife? Okay, Father. Uh, what do I do? Good. You must go home and apologize to your wife for abandoning her and being selfish. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I know I have sinned in, in terms of abandoning my wife and having polygamous thoughts. And you will have to fast and pray and ask God for forgiveness for having such sinful thoughts. Okay, Father, uh, I'm sorry. I will no longer make King Solomon my mentor. Very good for you. Hope you enjoyed that beautiful video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.